Welcome to our discussion on John Hussman's warning about a potential 63% crash in the S&P 500. There's a lot of buzz around this topic as the year 2023 has shown a 10% rise in the S&P 500 index. Yet John Hussman, president of the Hussman Investment Trust, cautions that these high valuations might not be what they seem and could lead to devastating outcomes for investors over time. Stay tuned as we delve into the details, but first please like subscribe and comment to support our channel. High valuations often lead to severe outcomes for investors over an extended period. Not a prophecy of doom, but a note of caution from John Hussman, president of the Hussman Investment Trust. The start of this year, the S&P 500 valuations were high, but the index has performed well so far, rising by as much as 20%. Like good news, right? Well, not necessarily. You see, Hussman warns that these high valuations could be a sign of trouble brewing, bases this warning on his preferred valuation measure, a bit of a mouthful, but stick with me here. It's the market cap of all non-financial stocks to gross value added, a measure that gives us an indication of how much value the market is actually producing compared to its perceived worth. Here's where it gets interesting. To this measure, we could be looking at potential negative 4% returns per year for the S&P 500 over the next 12 years. Yes, you heard that right, negative returns. That's the kind of forecast that can make investors break into a cold sweat. But it's not just this measure that Hussman is concerned about, he's also keeping a close eye on market internals which he tracks through a proprietary measure that monitors the breadth of individual stock performance. These internals give us an idea of how many stocks are participating in market trends. A healthy market sees a broad range of stocks doing well, but when only a few are carrying the load, it's often a sign of instability. The crux of Hussman's warning is simple. Valuations in the market, while they might seem appealing in the short term, often lead to devastating outcomes for investors over a longer period. A drop of 63% to return to historically associated valuation levels for 10% annual returns. That's a significant dip, and it could come out of nowhere and quickly, historically associated with extreme valuations and unfavorable market action. But what could be the possible triggers for such a drastic downfall? Let's examine. Market internals can be a significant indicator of upcoming market trends. Now when we talk about market internals, we're referring to a variety of measures that can provide insights into the overall health and direction of the market. John Hussman, president of the Hussman Investment Trust, has his own unique way of gauging market internals. Uses a proprietary measure that monitors the breadth of individual stock performance. Think of it as a health check on the market's individual components, rather than just looking at the overall index. It's like checking the pulse of every runner in a marathon, not just the front runners. Hussman raises concerns about what he sees as poor market internals. His measure suggests that we're not seeing a broad healthy advance in stocks. Instead, there might be an over-reliance on a few large-cap stocks driving the index higher, while many stocks are not performing well. This lack of breadth, Hussman warns, can be a red flag for the market. What does this mean for investors? Well, poor market internals can indicate potential losses coming quickly and without warning. Sounds scary, right? But why is that? It's because when the market's underlying health is weak, it becomes vulnerable to shocks. Any negative news or event could trigger a broad sell-off, leading to rapid losses. This is particularly true when these poor internals are associated with extreme valuations, which is precisely the scenario Hussman is cautioning against. So we have high valuations and poor market internals, it's like a one-two punch that could leave the market on the ropes. The critical question here is not if, but when the market will react to these conditions. How far could the S&P 500 potentially drop? According to Hussman, the S&P 500 could see a significant drop to return to historically associated valuation levels. The shockwave such a revelation sends through the investment community. This isn't a minor fluctuation we're talking about, but a massive plunge of 63%. But why this drastic drop? Theory is rooted in a simple principle. The desire for balance. Market, much like nature, has a way of correcting itself. When valuations soar too high, they inevitably return to their historical norms. This is not just a possibility, but a necessity for the overall health of the market. Let's break down what this 63% drop means. Picture a skyscraper. Now imagine that this skyscraper represents the current valuation of the S&P 500. If Hussman's prediction comes to pass, that skyscraper would lose over half of its height. 
We're talking about a building that once scraped the sky, now reduced to a mere mid-rise. What does this mean for investors? If you're heavily invested in the S&P 500, such a crash could lead to significant financial losses, like watching your hard-earned savings evaporate into thin air. The other hand, for those who stay resilient, it could also present an opportunity to buy stocks at much lower prices. However, it's not all doom and gloom. The market is cyclical. It has its ups and downs, its booms and busts. History has taught us anything. It's that after every crash, there's always a recovery. So while a 63% drop may sound alarming, it's just another part of the market's natural rhythm. But before you hit the panic button, it's worth noting that Hussman's prediction is just that. A prediction. It's not a certainty. The market is influenced by a multitude of factors, and while Hussman's theories carry weight, they are not the be-all and end-all. Other valuation measures also suggest rich valuations, let's explore them. Other common valuation measures also suggest that the market is currently overvalued. Now let's dive a bit deeper into some of these measures. One such measure is the Schiller Cyclically Adjusted Price-to-Earnings Ratio, often referred to as the CAPE Ratio. This ratio is used to assess likely future returns from equities over time scales of 10 to 20 years, with a high CAPE ratio warning of low returns. Currently the CAPE ratio is painting a similar picture to Hussman's preferred valuation measure, indicating that the market may be overpriced. Measure is the equity risk premium. Is the excess return that investing in the stock market provides over a risk-free rate, such as a US Treasury bond. When the equity risk premium is low as it is now, it suggests that investors may not be adequately compensated for the risk they are taking on by investing in stocks. Beyond these, we also have market breadth indicators, such as the percentage of S&P 500 companies trading above their moving averages. A high percentage means more companies are participating in the uptrend, which is generally a bullish signal. However, when this percentage decreases while the market continues to rise, it can be a warning sign of a potential downturn. Similarly, investor sentiment indicators like Bank of America's Bull and Amp, Bear Indicator or CNN's Fear and Greed Index can provide insight into market performance and sentiment. Indicators can often serve as contrarian signals. When sentiment is overly bullish, it may be a sign of a market top, and when sentiment is overly bearish, it may signal a market bottom. Conclusion While these valuation measures and indicators may not predict the exact timing of a market downturn, they do suggest that caution is warranted. It's important to remember that these are just tools and should be used in conjunction with other forms of analysis. Despite recent poor returns, Hussman's track record shouldn't be dismissed. Investors must weigh the potential for further gains against the rising risk of a larger crash. As we wrap up our discussion on John Hussman's perspective on the S&P 500, it's important to remember the key takeaways. Valuations may seem promising in the short term but they often lead to devastating outcomes over a longer period. Hussman's analysis of market internals shows that losses could come quickly and unexpectedly. Furthermore, the potential for a market crash is not an isolated prediction. Other common valuation measures such as the Schiller cyclically adjusted price-to-earnings ratio and the equity risk premium also suggest rich valuations. Breadth indicators and investor sentiment indicators further support this viewpoint. In essence, the current market scenario underscores the importance of being informed and prepared. As investors, it's essential to consider these potential risks when making decisions. Balanced approach, considering both the potential for further gains and the risk of a larger crash, is the key. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment to support our channel. Stay informed and stay safe in the market.